Caterpillar 336DL is a medium sized excavator weighing around 36 tonnes. And in this model it's fitted with a Caterpillar S365C shear which weighs around 7 tonnes in real life. This is a Norscott model for Caterpillar so it comes in the standard design of branded box. It has no information about the real machine but there's a few details about the model printed on the back. Although on the plus side you can see the model in the box, in no way does the packaging classify as frustration free. The model is firmly attached to the base of the packaging, in fact it's very firmly attached. But undoing the ties and releasing the model does at least give you something to do whilst you're trying to work out the origin of the universe. Once the model is out there's no assembly to do because it's complete out of the box and there's just a couple of items of packaging to remove from the crawler tracks. Looking underneath the model the tracks are metal and it's interesting that the model number on the casting shows that it's a casting from an earlier model. The track frames look reasonably detailed but they don't have working rollers. However the body casting is nice with some good grills on the side. And the overall standard of the paintwork and the graphics is very good. There's a metal handrail which leads up onto the roof of the machine but it's a bit too fat for the scale. And the cab detailing is quite reasonable although you might have expected to see a protective guard on the windscreen of a demolition machine. Up on top the engine cover appears to be plastic but that means it is a bit more detailed and there are plenty of hydraulic lines running to the boom. There are more hydraulic pipes in the casting of the top of the boom and hoses leading to the hydraulic cylinder. And at the end of the boom the shear is very good, it's all metal and very solid and it has detailed cutting edges. So out on the test track we'll try the crawler tracks and they're too stiff to roll on a smooth surface. But they move easily enough by hand and they're spring loaded. And when you give them a go on a rougher surface then they do roll, they're not entirely smooth but they show willing. The body rotates well enough, it's a little bit sticky to start with but it's fine. At the demolition end the range of movement on the boom is good enough. And the cylinders are reasonably stiff which is a good thing because the tool at the end is actually quite heavy because it's all metal but there's no bleeding of the cylinder rams at all. There's enough movement on the tool so that it folds right in so it makes a good transport load. And just by coincidence here comes a Rogers trailer ready to pick up the load. The 336D is not a particularly wide machine so it goes very well on this trailer and overall it makes an interesting display pose. The tool is metal and heavy and when fully extended it's just on the point of balance for the model. The shear has got some good functionality, it turns fully on the end of the boom, although it was very loose fitting on the review model. And the jaws do open and close, although they're quite stiff initially. Now onto a real life test and maybe it's fun to see if it will actually cut off the end of a finger. Unfortunately the results of this test are too horrific to show. It's good to see a demolition model made featuring a Caterpillar machine. As usual for Norscott it's a solidly executed model with few fragile parts and the detailing and finish is good enough. If you like Caterpillar models then it's recommended.